and welcome to our kitchen. We're having kind of a lazy morning. We both have a little bit of bed head. You kind of have a lot of bed head. But we figured we would share one of my very favorite dessert recipes because why not make dessert at 9 in the morning? Now, Taste of Home Easy Weeknight Dinners is pretty much what it sounds like. It's Easy Weeknight Dinners, but there's a bonus dessert section that I use pretty much as much as I use the regular recipes. And it has one of my very favorite desserts of all time to make. It's a macadamia nut key lime pie. It's the easiest thing to make ever. I make it for pretty much every occasion. And it's everybody's favorite pie, and Jackson is the best helper ever when I'm making this pie. We're going to dive right into the crust, but you're going to get one cup of crushed shortbread cookies. I have this nifty little chopper thing that I use for pretty much everything. So Jackson picked out Scotty Dog shaped shortbread cookies, probably not realizing that we're just going to smash them, but that's okay. Well, I can. So let's take it and start. This is great when you have a sleeping baby, right? <laughs> now you want these finely chopped because you want them to bind together to make your crust. Now if you don't have one of these tools, the other way to crush these is in a plastic bag. You just put them in and whack it with a rolling pin. I honestly prefer this method because it's a little therapeutic for me. Then you whack it. See, they're all crumbling up. So I'm going to put that cup in here, in this bowl, cup of crumbled shortbread cookies. Jackson's going to clean up my mess. Now to this crust, we're going to add half a cup of finely chopped macadamia nuts. Now this is where this tool is super useful because macadamia nuts are a little bit trickier to chop. You can eat it. macadamia nuts or you don't eat nuts, I made this with a graham cracker crust and it's fabulous. To my cookie crumbs and macadamia nuts, I'm lastly going to add a third cup of melted butter. This recipe calls for a fourth a cup of sugar in the crust, but we personally like our pies a little bit on the tart side, not too sweet. I'm not crazy about desserts that are too sweet and it already has cookies, so I feel like that's enough sugar. I've never added sugar to the crust and it always turns out perfect. So I have a pie dish. I'm going to grease this with some butter. I just take the stick and I rub it all around all of the sides. I'm going to pour this in and press it up the sides with our fingers. We can decorate it up. We're going to decorate it up. That's Jackson's favorite part. He's in charge of decorating the pie, aren't you? Yeah. So here is my beautiful crust. That looks pretty good, huh? Should we just eat this? No, we better make the pie, right? So this is going to go in the fridge for half an hour. In the meantime, I'm going to make the rest of the pie filling. But we're going to throw in one package of cream cheese. Thank you. We're going to beat this cream cheese until it's smooth. I've set it out for a little bit and let it soften. And this is going to make sure there are no lumps inside. To this cream cheese, we're going to add one can of sweetened condensed milk. Um, that yummy. This is lime juice. Yeah, that's sad. Lastly, we're going to add a half a cup of lime juice. You should use key lime juice, but I couldn't find me at my grocery store, and I've only ever made this with just regular lime juice. It's amazing. And this is where your rubber spatula is going to come in handy, because you're going to scrape and make sure that everything is incorporated. So we're going to blend this in, and scrape around the edges just to get those edge parts into your mix. We're going to do a little special tribute to Jackson's favorite person with this pie. Who's your favorite person? George Washington. George Washington. It's time to fill our pie! Yeah. Yay! When you try making this pie, you will understand why I make this for every occasion. It's perfect. This is just the perfect, easy dessert. So I'm going to spread it around. You hold it with me. Let's do it together. Okay. Spread it. This yeah. pie is smooth and beautiful and ready 
to be covered back up and go back in the fridge. Now for a quick little tidbit on a cute way to slice citrus fruit to top your pie. I just have some thin slices of lime here. I'm gonna do the same for this orange. I'm just gonna cut thin little slices. But we're gonna cut a little radius from the center out. Flip one forward and one backward and you can set it on top of your pie slices just like this and it looks super, super cute. Now the last thing on our pie agenda is to make some homemade whipped cream. Now the pie is almost ready. It's almost been about four hours, so I'm gonna beat this now. So I'm gonna pour about a cup of heavy whipping cream in a bowl. All you're gonna do is beat this. Now if you want a sweet whipped cream, you can add a little bit of confectioner sugar. I add about two to three tablespoons. I don't like it very sweet, but this pie, this key lime pie is very sweet and tangy and tart that you don't really need much sweetness in this whipped cream. So I'm just gonna straight up beat this heavy whipping cream plain. Now you know that the whipped cream is ready if you stick your beaters in and pull them out and it makes a peak and it doesn't drip off. So this is perfect. I'm going to get some piping tools and we're going to pipe this out onto our pipe. The first thing I'm going to do for decorating is I have a piping bag with a tip. You can hear Wyatt talking to himself out there in the swing. And I'm just going to spoon in my whipped cream. And before I got these piping tools, I used to just take a Ziploc baggie and cut the corner off and lock it up and squeeze the whipped cream out through that. I have a tip that's completely spiked all around and I'm just gonna take it, take my piping tools and do a quick motion up and down with this. I had a very upset baby who did not want to be left out of the decorating. This is gonna be a little family affair, huh? Yummy, that's your beautiful pie. Pie just tastes better when it's homemade. Look how cute. Jackson, you did such a good job. Thank you for making our favorite pie with us. We're gonna see you next week. I'm Hannah Williams.